Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Madden 19. Today we're going to be introducing the A through Z series where we play with each team in alphabetical order to figure out which is the playbook best suited for my Mutt team, which yeah, I'm working on right now, but you know, we're going to get there someday, maybe, possibly, soon, eventually. But yeah, we're going to start a little bit out of order because we're going to play with the New York Giants first because they're, they are my favorite team. And yes, I know we went 3-13 and 13 last season, so there's no need to tell me in the comments. Uh, thank, Hopefully y'all enjoy the video and thanks to the power of editing, we're going to be on the field now. There we go. So it's kickoff. Let's see what we're doing here. We're just going to kick it off normally. Be fair catch is this. Yep. First play, I'm feeling pretty confident. Although, this is my first online game because so far I've just been doing solo challenges and ultimate team. But, we get a nice little stuff right there for no yardage. He hurries up to the line. Try to set my D line. See what I can do with my linebackers here. He, it's a pass play. Excellent spin move right there. I was not ready for that. That, that, was, that was really good. He got the yards he needed. Third and three. He calls a draw. Gets the first down. Wasn't ready for that. Got the tackle there. And then on this play, another passing play. Ah, just missed him. Thankfully for us, he didn't get that because that was open. Up the seam. Good throw. Good catch. And he hurries up to the line again. I try to set my defense again. Unfortunately, he can't do it. Throw to the flats. But how? What was that animation? Because he either got his hands on the ball or he didn't. And that should have been a pick. Or whatever. Can't complain. It was an incomplete pass. Here he passes for a first down. I, I just got to work on guarding these underneath routes because... I can guard over the top, but underneath, I just, I don't know why. I just leave that completely alone for some reason. Throws. Oh, I think this one was, yep. Sacked by Olivier Vernon. Hello. He hurries up to the line again. That gets annoying after you do it like four times in a row, but whatever. Not hearing me complain. Look at this. Ah. I felt like that should have been a bat down, but whatever. Third and 11 now. He's in the trips. I, was, I wasn't ready for the slant and it's fourth and two. So here I am picking my defense. Great. And this is obviously a run. I just didn't know which side of the field that he was gonna run to. So he's going to run to the left. See that? See that pursuit angle? Yup. Clamp that down, man. Here we go. I really wanted to set the tone on offense by uh, trying to give Barkley as many carries as possible. But when stuff like that happens, like I get stuffed in uh, early down situations, I just, I abandon the run. I'm not a good runner of the ball. Right here. Look at that pass by Eli. Who says he still don't got it? I dare you to say he still don't got it. Look at that. What a dot. Here we go. Oh, come on, Eli. Oh, you got to make that one. That one was open, man. Oh, Barkley runs stuff. Oh, uh, no, he, he got a yard. Here we go. Another pass play. Nobody's open. And Daniil Hunter get, comes in for the sack. Now, when I was going into this game, I forgot about one crucial detail. Eric Flowers is, one of my, is my starting right tackle. And as, you, and as the game progresses, you're going to see that he gets abused regularly. But look at this BS throw, man. A dot on the run like that. Since when can Kirk Cousins ever do that? 
and bad tackle angles and then ultimately I just give up a touchdown I was so mad at that that was so stupid but anyway he makes the PAT no point in showing that now I had X open in the middle of the field but then it was at this point that I realized that I had Eric Flowers starting and then I started getting jittery you know like real Eli jittery I got scared I was seeing ghost man look at this he gets knocked down on the ground and nobody gets open and he comes in for another sack another sack wow on a four-man rush all he has to do is just send freaking so stupid Anyway, a run here, he gets a gain of six. He hurries up to the line again. Try to set my defense to where I want it to be. And yeah, he's audible. Play action pass. I know what he wants to go for, but I couldn't get there in time. Luckily, he overthrew it a little bit and it was an incomplete pass. Let's see. Third down and four, trips left. And I think this was a run, was it? Yeah. Ultimately gets the first down, but he went backwards on his own accord. So fourth and inches. I wanted to run commit in this situation here, but I was afraid that he was actually going to pass it. So I just didn't do anything. I just tried to shift my D-line to where I thought he was going to go. He hurries up to the line again. I think I look like I'm blitzing. He runs again. Nice tackle. I think only a gain of two or one. Yeah. He hurries up to the line again. Yeah, you're going to start. You're going to see a pattern here. He calls that play again. But luckily, we're on that. We clamp that down. Kareem Martin comes in for the sack. Hurries up to the line yet again. Which is... I guess understandable seeing as how he's in the two minute drill. We clamp everything up, nothing is open, and Olivier Vernon comes in for another sack. It's just beautiful when that, those, that's a coverage sack right there. I like those. It means you're clamping down. I could tell that it's a blitz, so I decide to throw a Sterling Shepard. Look at this man breaking another tap, break a tackle. Oh, come on, come on, keep going. Oh, I thought he would have had it. Anyway, this man is blitzing me like I don't know that. Man coverage blitzes? How bad does he think I am? Bro, this is my first online game. Let me get, let me get settled in, man. Anyway, another blitz. Here, I, w I threw the corner out a little too early because they, like, they changed it up on me, man. I thought it was going to be picked off there. I, re I honestly believed I was going for six. Right here. Daniel Hunter comes in for another sack. And wow, look at that. Four sacks by the third quarter. That's just amazing. Shut down that run by Dalvin Cook. Two-yard gain. Here we go. Throws to the running back in the flat. Nice little move. Or I, I thought it was going to be a nice little move. Landon Collins should have killed him there, though. Here we go. Another run. Look at that. Look at Mr. Martin. Coming in, clamping that run down, man. Ah, this play again, and it actually gets completed. Look at this. It is, it's no, Kirk Cousins does not do this. It's a reason why he, Washington didn't want him so bad. Anyway, this run almost goes for a touchdown. I think it's like a game of 30 something. To, oh no, it's only 25. Tries to throw it to the running back. That See, if he can't make that on the run, and that was a way easier throw than what he had before, how did he make that? No, that's, that makes no sense. But anyway, we shut that down. He goes, he goes for the field goal. Field goal is good, obviously. See, come on, man. I'm trying to establish a run game, and they're just shutting it down like it's nothing. And why is my phone ringing? Here we go. Another pass play. Another sack by Daniel Hunter. 
num sack numero cinco. Let's see, third and 22. Have no choice but to pass, but look at that. What a, another beautiful throw by Eli. If you can give that man time, man, he, he does things. Look at that. Sterling had, had himself a good game, though. I never really targeted Odell because his routes take time to develop, and that's time I don't have. Because apparently Daniil Hunter is a god. Or Eric Flowers is a bum. Whichever one you choose to believe. The second one. Anyway, hurrying up to the line, trying to be in a hurry up offense. There's going to be a graphic that's going to show up to show you exactly how bad Eric Flowers is. How, how much his, like, I just hate him, okay? I just hate Eric Flowers. Now, I don't hate him as a person, just as a player, because, like, come on, how can you be that bad? You have no excuse to be that bad. You're in the NFL, man. But, whatever. Another good throw by Eli, another good catch by a Sterling, which, which I'm expecting a huge season out of him now. And, yeah. Look at that. Picked off. That was just a bad read. That was me being frustrated because, you know, I didn't get the first there. But look at Eli, though. He, he tried to kill a man. Anyway, run play right here. Nice little inside zone, but that ultimately that goes nowhere. Nice, nice throw to the seam. And Like, defensively, I actually, I played a good game. It's just my offense that was the problem. And for, like, the next few matches, you're just going to notice that, like, my offense will get better. It's just going to take some time. But my defense has actually been surprisingly good. And I'm not really known for my defense. Like, other Maddens, I was a offense-heavy player. But defense, I, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I take like being good on defense, especially once I get good on offense. Woohoo! Watch out. Now, I had R1 in the open in the middle of the field there, but at this point, I just didn't care. I just stopped caring. Look at that. How is that a pick? That's a drop. But hey, whatever. Goofy early Madden, early in the season Madden animations. You just gotta love them. They make so much sense. Yeah, but I ended up losing this game. It was a good game by my opponent, but you know. Eric Flowers, six sacks. Not that's some bull. No, he gave up way more than three sacks. I don't know how. Maybe okay. Maybe there was a one or two that he didn't give up, but it was definitely more than three. Daniel Hunter is like, come on, six sacks. Is he ever that good? I know the Vikings defense is good, but come on, man. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a